Hi guys, it's Leslie Ray. How is everybody tonight? This is a special Leslie Ray's Crafty Gig. Hi Pam. I, uh, I, I streamed just a week ago and I got all done and was all proud of myself and thinking all kinds of happy thoughts and turned to the side and all of a sudden I realized um, I forgot something. So it's been bugging me all week and like I told you before, one of the reasons I like to Zentangle is because it relaxes me and this week was supposed to be an extremely stressful week as far as lots of um, demands on my time and lots of um, places to be, things to do, stuff to get together for events this weekend. And I thought, you know, as the day wore on today, I thought more and more, I'd, I'd really like to get my box finished. <laughs> and um, so it was, it was kind of funny because we got to the end of the show and and I looked to the left, as I think Molly did as well, and there was this box. Um, it's a wooden box, as you can see from the inside. And I had painted it with some, some gold paint, and it just kind of gives a stain. So you can still see the wood grain of it here, and, and you can see the wood grain on the edges of the box. And I just did it really, really light with a, with a sponge brush to, to get it a kind of a seal, a seal on the wood. Because I'm going to turn it over here and you can see if I took this Sharpie, for instance, and we started drawing, it's going to start spidering. Can you see that? See how it's starting to follow the wood grain? And it kind of spiders. But... If I draw that same circle over here on the gold, see, it's just staying where it is. It's not going anywhere. I'll keep you as long as I can have you, Pam. I'm glad you could be here. So see, can you see the difference in the two? How how this one is is really trying to follow the grain of the wood and this one is stopped because just that little bit of paint there has made it stop All right it's bleeding thank you that's a good term so in order to tangle this so that it doesn't bleed everywhere it's important that you have a base coat I was trying to look and see I had where I first learned about this on one of my old boxes and I can't find it. But anyway, um, and that's the whole idea. Um, eventually, probably what I will do is cover the inside of this with something fuzzy and plush or maybe some leather. Uh, but I'm not real concerned about painting the inside of this or tangling the inside of this. I might tangle around the edges. If I do that, I'll need to come back in with some paint. But... Um, that I'm not certain I want to do. But I definitely want to tangle the outside. And really what's been speaking to me are these little mitered edges here. <laughs> these just look really fun to do like the zigzag one. Now to, to do wood, it's going to be some of the very similar tools that you've seen me use before. Um, you know, obviously my, my little pins, my sidlers work really good for this. Um, the, the microns work well for this, as do the Millennium pens. And then Big Markets, the skinny ones, the, the black skinny tip works super. And the Sharpie skinny tip, again, work really good. And occasionally you want something thick, and so if you have a, a thick black Sharpie, or a, a big market, you could use it, or you've got to get some of those bics. You can use bics for anything. Um, actually, not so much. I 
I'm usually just grabbing for what I have. Um, I do not find that the Securas run out that bad. Um, I usually use the Millenniums because that's what mom carries in the store and that's what I have and I'm familiar with. Um, but these, these do pretty well. I mean, I've had these for quite a while. And um, it's just like when I was working with the eggs. Really? That's interesting, Pam. When I was working with the eggs, these didn't do as well as the Sharpies or as the um, Millennium Pens. But we'll see if, if these are going to be, you know, yuck, then we'll just toss them, you know. But I haven't had a problem with them so far. So. And then this was new. This was at uh, Staples this week. It's a Sharpie pen. And look how skinny this bad boy is. Hang on, let's see. It's it's T90. Now, I don't know if this is like the ones that they have for, um, I know, here, in comparison. I don't know if this is um, like the Sharpies that they have for paper only. So, I kind of wanted to, to play with that and see what it did. Um, now, let's, let's go on our... Let's see. See, it's it's a little bitty 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 line. It doesn't say it's not, but it doesn't say it is. But it's not rubbing off. So yeah, I'm not really sure what it is but you can kind of see it tries to bleed if I put it on regular wood um, I know it kind of runs through paper we got these at the office um, and it runs through paper so that that to me is the sign of pretty easily pretty quickly of a permanent marker is that it runs through paper so maybe but I think I want to, uh, I think I want to use two different sizes of lines. I want to tackle this corner first. This corner is just, like I said, it, it's calling me from afar. So let's see. And what I found with these and doing this on wood is if it, if what you're working with doesn't want to work sometimes you can put it aside and come back to it later and it will uh, what I grabbed first is my big market and as you see sometimes I'm having to go over it more than once and usually I have several of these that I'm going through it once, but um, I did clean off my desk, and when I cleaned off my desk, my children found several things that they deemed um, they wanted to use, and so apparently I'm down to one fine point black big market again, so... They will come back to me. They always do. But in the meantime, Sam or Will have decided it's something they want to write with and draw with. And so there you have it, right? But I am just doing a simple zigzag pattern. And where this is kind of rough right there, I'm just going over it like it's, you know, it, like it's not. And this zigzag is going to be that cute little pattern that I love, that I have decided is, is uber cool. I know when I was working with the egg, for instance, um, 
the boiled egg and probably next time I'll do it out of a blown egg but it was on a whim and so the boiled egg I was using um, I made sure it was at room temperature because boiled eggs that are cold sweat and I knew that would be horrible trying to do my doodling on a sweaty egg so that's not looking too bad eh guys That's crazy, Pam. Yeah, I have my own tools, and I try to keep them separate. And usually I do pretty good, because if it's not hubby, it's, you know, Will or Sam the Mantha that come in and, and swipe my stuff, and it doesn't matter if it's pink or purple. Actually, if it's pink, it's more attractive to Sam. She, uh, she finds anything pink she believes belongs to her in our house. So. And sometimes she's right. If it's pink, sometimes it is hers. But, you know. Sometimes it's mommy's too. So, do either of y'all like to zentangle? Have y'all tried doodling some more since we since we talked a week ago? You went and bought some tools today, Pam? I know, Pam. I love the sunflowers. Uh, I mean, you've seen how many I've... I'm addicted to sunflowers. Sunflowers are just really happy to me. Molly, you say you've doodled some. Did you find one that you like better than others? What Do you have a, a go-to pattern? Yeah, I like the dots too, and I love weaves. I love how easy it is to make all the different kind of woven looking ones. They look like they could be really hard, but are they look like I like the ones that look like puzzle pieces and stuff. I think those are very cool. Do you have a go-to uh, doodle, Pam? You didn't see that I did a zigzag? Um, I, I'm going to do the zigzag all the way around this. And then I'm going to come back with a little bit thinner pen and do where I um, do the cross and up and down in it. I had to do a pattern one time where the only curved lines I could have 
was the string and then everything in it uh, was very um, had to be very straight only straight lines that just about killed me because one of my favorite lines is is the circle you know I, I'm always doodling something with a circle um, circles are very happy for me Ooh, I bet rope is pretty Pam yeah, I love boxes boxes are so much fun That corner got a little close. <laughs> oh well. So we could leave that like that. We could put dots in the triangles going around. But I think what I want to do is I want to take this little skinny pin. I like it too. I think it looks really cool. Hopefully I'm not fixing to do something destructive. <laughs> right? Um, I think it'll be easier for me to handle this way. You see? There we go. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to you can barely see what I just did, can't you? Little bitty skinny, skinny, skinny. Yeah, I thought about dots. I did, Pam. Because you know so much how I, I love dots. Let's see, so we're gonna, it's gonna focus on that there. See this first one? I probably should not have done that direction. And I may go over it, I don't know. We'll see how I feel about that when we get around to the other side. But right now I really liked how skinny this little pin is. Well, I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better, Molly. I really enjoyed your demo with the flowers on Saturday. I'm very sad that none of that recorded. But I wanted people to see what the beautiful cards were that we made. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, Pam. I think we're going to try to do another one. Um... I know Saturdays in the fall are just hard for a lot of people, but um, I think I've got everybody's cards that they've done um, in some form or another, and so I was gonna I was gonna do a post real quick and kind of show what all was created for the causes and. And add some more links in. Fab had a great setup linking it on on uh, Paper Mood. How to get the information. And I'm going to link to that again. and Kind of encourage some people, you know, to, to join us in that cause. No, you didn't tell us. How much did you get?
five racks. Wow, Pam. Holy catfish. Now, the thing with wood, in case you're not paying 100% attention here, is especially with a box like this with this little lid, it has a smooth side, which I did first, and it has a rougher side, the cross grain. And I'm doodling on the cross grain like nobody's business. But, um, it's not as sharp as, say, over here, because this was along the grain, cross grain. So... But I'm fixing to come around this corner here and be back, back in business. Thank you, Molly. Hi, Mommy. Wow, Pam, $25 for the racks and everything? Holy catfish. Yes, mommy has a paper addiction. Didn't mean to out you, mommy, but you do. Of course, the carts and carts and cases and cases of paper I have have nothing to do with my, uh, my own personal paper problems. You think I have more? <laughs> You're probably right. I probably do have more. And I'm sure when I told her, hey, look, we can buy this paper digitally and we can print as much as we want, her eyes probably rolled the first time she heard me say that. Because honestly, digital paper just makes it worse. Because not only do you have this paper, this non-ending supply of paper, but then you have to, you know, provide a non-ending supply of ink and all of that. And yeah. My digital paper will be the death of me, I'm sure. Okay, I'm loving how skinny this little pen is. Hmm. 
that just goes around that corner. So nice, nobody notices. I like that. I think that's cool. Well, it's not supposed to be super slow, Molly. And it is a pretty small box. I mean, you know, the palm of my hand. So, you know. Right now, I, I, there's some cat hair, I believe. It's a playful hair right there. Don't get her started on whatever she wants. She will tell you what she would want. <laughs> You'll talk to Sam about it. <laughs> yeah, Sam gives all my stuff away. I need to give her new words. Oh, give you her new words. Okay. Let's see. All of her words are I like and the red, yellow, and blue. Those are all her words. Sam is learning her sight words. And she's doing a really good job. You lost me. Oh. <laughs> I'm right here, Pam. I didn't go anywhere. I decided to go give a little more definition. I went around it with just a regular Sharpie. She will love that. Um, I'll probably go around this bottom edge too in a minute, but I want to work on the top, I think. I think I want to do some... I think this looks very kind of Greekish, myself personally. Um, not that I'm trying to do anything Greekish. Yes, bling should be a sight word, you're right. Um, I can't decide if I want to put like an S on it, and then Sam will think it's hers, even though it could be mine for S for Strickland, or, honestly, I think I want to do a big sunflower, because, you know, sunflowers make me happy. How do you decide to do on a blank piece? Um, if this, I may want to be more figurative. Um, just simply because I think I want this to be for me. I made mommy a box back at Mother's Day. Did you, have you seen that box, Molly? Um, Let me see. I should have a picture of that box somewhere. Well, I know there's one on the internet. Here, let's... Let me open it up real quick. Let's see what I can find. Let me, let me find you a picture of that box. Um, I did it for mommy for her Mother's Day present, and she, um, I think she liked it. She thought it was kind of groovy. Let's see. Go down here to the bottom. And I put in it some some fun jewelry stuff that I had done. Let's see.
Hang on just a second. I'm finding... There it is. Whoops. Let's see. Here we go. Paste. If you go there, you will see. I don't know if I've gotten that far on Pinterest. I'm trying to go through. I, I pinned a couple of pages. Um, and I'm trying to go through and, you know, pin more as often as I can. But I didn't get that far yet. I'm going to I'm going to use just my regular big market to kind of flesh it out how I want it. Um, but I, I was doing that specifically for her, and I did lots of flowers and stuff on it. Uh, this since I'm doing this one for me, um, and I have just a real good affliction for uh, sunflowers. I usually have a whole slew of them growing in my front yard, and I think they're just fascinating to watch. I mean, yeah, they follow the sun, and it's just amazing. I think I'm going to do that, and I'm going to have him be kind of over to the side. So, and like I said, I'm using my skinnier pen to just kind of flush it out. And really, um, that's so I can easily cover up anything. With it, if I, I want it to be over to the edge here, and that's cool. Um, I've really been kind of looking lately at how the centers form in sunflowers. And I, I want to play with that. I've been uh, I've been watching as the little bees get all their little fuzzy bodies covered with with how sunflowers are. And I've been taking lots of pictures of the centers of sunflowers. I love how that looks, you know. Now, I do draw around some things sometimes. Um, I was playing, and this is a, a die cut that I have. This is a, a Sizzix die. And I, I went around that. So I don't always just draw. I Sometimes I trace. But that's what that was. But this one has issues. I've got to, to glue it and clamp it. So, yeah. When I get that fixed, then I'll continue with that. But... I would love to see it, Pam. You should, um, if you get a chance, if you want to... To upload it on my fan page. I would love to see it there. Okay. I want to start. And I know I made this kind of the outline. But I'm going to start by going out just one more further line. Um, and making a border there. And the border I want to do here, strangely enough, with all those circles, I want to do squares. And 
maybe a little dot in the piece that is left in between. I like that. And I try not to get too far ahead of myself when I'm doing squares because usually, honestly, when I go to this part where I decide I'm going to zentangle, my brain is tired. My brain is so tired and it's been an overdrive because I've been thinking about everything that I'm supposed to be doing and how I'm supposed to be getting it done and And I know if I went through there and squared up a whole bunch of squares and then started coloring, I would forget where I was. And I would color, you know, not the right square. And that would be bad. You know, I don't know what she did tonight. I was um, at a scout meeting. Mondays are usually um, Boy Scout night and those meetings don't start until 7 o'clock at night here and so when they start at 7 o'clock at night I might get home at 8 o'clock I might if I'm very very lucky um, tonight I was supposed to be and a hunter safety class with my son but because we got there and only three people showed up they decided to cancel the class so instead I went to um, we went on to Boy Scouts and I'm glad we got to go because they started a new merit badge um, working as a group. They usually try to do um, one merit badge as a group probably quarterly maybe and the one they started on was camping and so while it's easy for them to get all of the actual camping stuff done now I don't know if you noticed but my pen is acting dorky. Um, it's kind of spotty, these last couple of spots here, as opposed to over here where it wasn't. So I'm going to take a break on that pen and get out this other Sharpie. Ugh, I hate that you have the flu, Molly. But, um, yeah, so... We didn't get home until a quarter to ten, which I was starting to get a little nervous because I was like, you know, if you go past ten, one, my husband needs the car because he goes to work, and two, um, I got two kids that need to go to school tomorrow, and three, um, people, I got a stream, so y'all need to leave. <laughs> so. Oh my goodness, Pam, seriously, he fell and broke his leg, or should I say shattered his leg? Wow. That's insane, Pam. I don't know. There was a lot of ambulances going today. I hope there were no fires involved. And lots of fire trucks going. Our town is small enough that when there is an accident of any kind... Um, you get the paramedics and the fire trucks. Regardless of if you need them, 
you get them. That's horrible, Pam. Yeah, we were talking with the boys about, um, well, we weren't. Uh, one of the, the firemen who is also a medic um, is in our troop, and he was doing the outdoor safety with the boys and going over all the different things to to know about, you know, things from heat exhaustion and stuff and and frostbite and, you know, what happens and how you get it and how you avoid it and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, the last thing he was talking about was triage. And, like, if something happens and you end up needing to, uh, you know, you accidentally use your knife and you cut your leg or something like that happens. And um, he was saying, you know, because he's trained at it and knows better, you know, he could use a tourniquet and do it effectively, but that was one thing that... You know, as scouts, um, not to do because ineffectively using a tourniquet can can cause more damage than doing it correctly. Will got to administer some uh, first aid on his sister while at the meeting. She was walking across the Caliche parking lot and. Um, met with a gravity spot and uh, went straight down on her knee enough that she ripped a hole in her pants. She was wearing the, the one pair of, of leggings that still fit her from this past year and because it's been so hot here we haven't even bothered to get clothes for fall and winter yet. We've still got shorts and stuff. And so, uh, we, we are trying to, uh, figure out what to do with her holy britches. Maybe put a patch on it or something. It cut big old hole. And at first she didn't want her brother to help her at all. And so, the scoutmaster asked another scout. And sadly, uh, it was one of the kids that is quite lazy and uh, he was kind of an, a jerk so I told her if she wanted her leg fixed she needed to let her brother do it and so he did it okay I'm changing pens because both of my pens are are saying they're tired I'm going with this micron for a while See how this works. The nice thing about black is, well, it's black. And while there can be many shades of black, fortunately, that's not always the case. Black is black. So. And see, that's why I pull out so many pens, guys, is because you never know if your pen's going to go all the way or if it's going to decide, okay, I'm done for a while. They do, Pam. They do the same thing. But until I actually run it on some paper to know for sure if it's dead, 
um, I, I'm not going to throw them away because sometimes it's just running it over the paint and running it over some paper for a minute to, to wick the ink back down will uh, make it all happy. So Pam, is it only his leg or did he sustain other injuries as well? Wow, over a hundred fractures. That is just, you know, that's incredible. It's it's not even believable, you know, because that's a lot of that's a lot of broken pieces. And over a hundred means they they quit counting at some point. Ugh. Yes, that is definitely when not to use a tourniquet. That's what Mr. Bell said. I was paying attention. Okay. I think I like how that goes. I think I want to. Oops, sorry, guys. Moved all this over in front of my my stuff. Let's see. I think I want to go here. Okay, I think in this long one, I want to, uh, there's this one, let's see, it starts way out. I 
I don't know what this one is called. But it's one of the very last challenges that I did before I took a extended break with um, the I Am the Diva. And it was quite an interesting... Kind of pattern. Because you have to kind of pre think how you're going to go. And, um, yeah, get some of that weaving going on in there. Yeah, I don't know what that one's called. Um, but I, I thought it was really cool looking. But I thought I also made like a cool looking petal coming off the flower. And, uh, and I want to also kind of do something small around it. Let me change pens. I want to do something kind of, I know y'all are expecting circles, but... I think I'm going to make these little pieces that kind of look like rice. And uh, if I decide, I may go back and decide to put like a, a um, A dot in there too. I don't know. Maybe. Not real sure. That kind of looks like confetti, maybe. Kind of a texture going on there. Maybe. And I want to put some inside here. Because it's going on there. As well. You got to kind of stop at some point because if I kept going down that line, it would go into this line that comes back around. So you kind of have to, kind of have to stop. <laughs> kind of, kind of have to pick where you want to to stop it. And
Um, I don't think I want every petal to be the same, Molly. Um, I think I want to... I was going in and where this cloth is over, I kind of put some little skinny lines to make it look like it pops up. Um, I think it'll be more interesting to kind of give it a little bit of different definition, you know? The emptiness down here, uh, I'm not sure I want to leave that empty. Maybe kind of give it some of that. To, to bring that out just a little bit like that. I like that one. But I don't think I want them all to be the same. <sighs> yeah, I guess it could be, but no, I don't want to. Or maybe make those two the same and then make these two different. make it kind of a pattern. But see then you get over here and you lose it completely. I think what I want to do in this one is take this and get a series of lines going. And the reason I go to this is because on a smaller scale, I typically would do something similar to that anyway. And then I came in beside it with skinnier lines. And that's just for for fun. I like the way that feels. And so if I did that here with this one as well, Goodness, Pam. So 
Sounds good, Pam. I am recording. Night, ma'am. Went around the inside with some loops. And then I want to go around it again with some taller loops. And these I have to concentrate when I make them taller. Let's see. I made them taller. I want to So now we've gone all the way around with some more loops on top. And I think I want to put some lines in them. See the lines? Hang on. Come on, focus, baby. There you go. So you see the little lines I'm sticking in there? Yeah. 
Yeah, but see, I'm thinking as I do these, you know, release, reduce. No, it's yoga for my brain. It's a repetitive motion that I can just do and think about, you know, I'm relaxing, I'm shifting my focus away from the hubbub of all that needs to be done. And I'm able to concentrate on relaxation and creativity. If while doing this, I decided to build in a mantra about, you know, something I'm thinking of or like to add into my life. For instance, I wasn't doing this when I was pregnant with Sam, but um, while we were trying to get pregnant, um, I probably would have done uh, lots of flowers or lots of eggs and done something similar to this. When we were trying to get pregnant with Sam, we had a mantra that we did to provide our son with a healthy, happy baby sister. And uh, we got exactly that. So careful what you ask for, people. But I mean, this would be something you could do a doodle while doing your mantra. Um, I really like the way that looks there. I'm going to do something similar, not as um, crazy in these empty spaces, I think. But I like these little humpy bumpies. Um, Hey, Bev. You caught me. <laughs> I think Molly and uh, Mommy are here. I just kind of did this as an impromptu and wanted to have it on, on camera. And recorded because I am... Um, I knew that um, I, I knew I wanted to do that. I knew I wanted to get creating this box on there. And uh, I decided, Molly, I needed dots. Isn't that crazy? I need dots. Life without dots is sad. So I put dots in the center of my ruffles. Dots. Yeah, <laughs> right? I did, Bev. I totally decided. Um, I have a very crazy schedule this week. Or I was going to. It, it since has lightened up since I decided to do this. But um, I really wanted to work on my box. And no, you're not seeing anything in the box. Um, I really wanted to work on my box, and so I decided to 
to disentangle my box. I had started this, uh, remember I painted the, the gold on the box last week and set it aside to dry. And probably about the same time Molly said she looked to her left and saw that she had this gold plaque sitting there. Um, I, I spied my box after we finished and I was like, well, crumb, you know, I, I wanted to share that with people. So there you go. That's, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Um, and while I was sitting there, I decided for the last two petals... The last two petals are going to be the same. Um, I'm setting up to do Icarus on both of those. So, um, if you remember, you take your thing, divide it into six quadrants. And then go along the edges of one side. And so there's the beginning of Icarus. No, you should just see the box, baby. I'm here in my Kermit gloves and my confetti fingers. But you should just see the box. Is that what you see? Yes, my party nails. There's a party on my nails. Hello, hello. There's a party on my nails. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this was for Saturday, Bev. I, I I sat down in my friend Carrie's chair and she said, uh, what do you want on your nails? And I said, I want a party on my nails. And so, there you go. So, I have these very bright pink with polka dots and glitter and little flowers on some of them. And Can you see the screen? At all, Bev? Can you see the... Um, if you click on your little person above the send, it should make it stay. Let me get this piece of paper here. My marker flowing again here. It just doesn't want to work tonight. Let's see. Let's go that one out. Now we'll get this little guy out here.
Do you see the box, Bev? Okay, so let me ask y'all a question. I've been watching these ladies do these really cool, um, they're calling them, um, they're making them with manila folders. Not sure exactly what they're called, but they're very awesome. And you um, use the folder and you fold it up and you, you fold it several ways and it makes like a little portfolio that you can uh, put tags in or like recipe cards or I guess you could put gift cards in it if you wanted to but it's kind of a neat, kind of artsy, multimedia, collagey, kind of fun thing. And we get to use paint and mediums and stuff and, and just kind of play and be free. And I was thinking about doing that on Friday for my uh, stream. Does that sound like something y'all would like to see? Sounds nice. Molly, if you're fever free, would you like to see that? Molly's done some? Absolutely. That would be cool. Can I show them on the show? Look at this, guys. You like that? It's kind of a real texture in there. That would be awesome. I think that would be very cool. I might do the same thing over here, so then there will be kind of a pattern going on, and this is just you know one, one in the in the set. So I have a tendency to overfill, as you see in like in here, and so having some openings, um, well, like this, this is probably more open than I normally am, is very difficult for me to achieve because I want to fill. I want to cover it. Um, not that I think it's bad. I just love tangling it all in, you know. I, uh, my daughter has been doing some really cool things. I have to talk to her and make sure she's, you know, not doing it for her, um, her letters at school. Will used to write his letters for school backwards because he could. Um, he thought that was fun and he could do it. Hmm. Something I'm using did not stay put. Wondering if this is not staying put. That is very interesting. The rest of that is, though. Wondering if it's that. Because this stays put. Sorry, just noticed something. We can't have stuff that's not staying put now, can we? 
think that will try the anyway when Will was Sam's age we kinda had to negotiate with him to draw his letters the correct way good night Molly I'm glad you're relaxed it's fun to sit and doodle it really is I can't wait to see the file folders you're sending me That will be very cool. I've been watching people do this on Ustreams this weekend, and I thought, you know, I want to do that. I can do that. Let's do that. I think it's fun to do things that are different, Bev. Yes, I do use the bookmarkers. My bookmarker, I, I was explaining earlier, um, I, I had cleaned off my, my table for the weekend, and I thought I had um, my bookmarkers together. Because, see, I had them together when I streamed last. And... Um, Someone decided that they needed them more than me, apparently, because now they are not, not with my other ones. So, I had purchased this new Sharpie to try, and am pleased that it's not like the Sharpies for paper. I do not like the Sharpies for paper at all on any level um, but this one does not seem to be a sharpie for paper because it does bleed and the sharpies for paper are, are not bleeders and so it's got a very tiny 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 look how small that is tiny point that is allowing me to get such detail with it but, um, but yeah, I've used some bookmarkers on this as well. And um, I really like the way the bookmarkers work. So... So I really kind of like how my petals are going. Now I need to fill in my my top here. I think part of it I want to part of it I want to do circles. I do know that. I want to the top top and then maybe 
kind of lighter around here. Yeah, this one here, look, uh, this Sharpie, here's the regular Sharpie. Um, they look very similar, but this one just feels even skinnier than this one. I don't know. I, um, I don't know. I like how it's looking there, though. I like how that makes it feel. Try to see if I can get my my big marker to give us a little more action here. Because it was saying that it was tired. I don't want to... I do have work, Bev, tomorrow, but right now I want to see the top of this finished, and then I can go to bed. <laughs> I, I won't do my sides, I promise. I, I, I'll stop at the top, but i, I got to finish the top. It, it'll kill me if I don't finish the top. So... I like that. That's kind of fun. And It's, it's quite different. Um, I find, I mean, I enjoyed working 20 hours a week. Um, I enjoy having a little more income to help my family. Um, the cost of everything seems to have just gone 
up, 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 and it's just crazy how much everything is starting to cost. And I know, I mean, there's a trend that every year before uh, Christmas, it tends to get worse. And, you know, the price of everything goes up, the price of fuel, the price of food, everything. And, um, and it's, it's already started. It really didn't let up this summer, uh, like it normally does. And, um, so we're, we're feeling it. I know, uh, Got a couple of craft shows I'm gonna do, and I hope to see some uh, help there with some of our crafts. But pretty much everybody in the family is doing something. Yeah, and the food seems to be getting smaller. I told my cat the other day she was gonna have to get a day job or something because oh my gosh, the price of pet food. When did that become so outrageous? It's crazy. She just looked at me and meowed. Said, I don't know what you're talking about, human. You just feed me. So. She said, here, I'll kill a grasshopper and a gecko for you. That should work. She's a pretty good little huntress, actually. When she was a kitten, I remember one night she accidentally spun outside. Um, we usually don't let her outside. She's a house kitty. And during that night, oh my goodness, she must have caught five birds. And Bill... Uh, Luckily, got up before the rest of us. He said it was just like a little minefield out there of birds. It was like she, either she was just playing and having such a good time catching them, or you know she was capturing them for us. But um, whatever it was, she was really good at it. And at this point, she doesn't have any front claws. And uh. And so when she catches something, like when the weather is changing, usually we can expect, you know, a little field mousey or something to come in. And uh, she, she's a really good mouser. We don't have very many mice anymore because of her. And uh, lately she's been catching geckos. And the <laughs> Friday night, I guess it was, she had this giant, grasshopper. I mean giant. It was huge. And uh, she was playing with that. She's so funny. If she sees them like on the like the geckos, if she sees them on the ceiling she'll just sit there and do her little trill meow. The you know, real funny sound. And you know, it's gecko alert. And I've tried to explain to the geckos that this is a cat house. They're, you know, we have an attack cat on duty and she is not, she's not friendly to the geckos. But they don't listen. I don't know if it's because the box is square or that I'm just feeling kind of square, but these repetitive little squares are making me happy.
Yeah, the geckos, I mean, I like them. I don't wish them harm. And I guess that's what disappoints me the most. Is, you know, they're putting themselves in harm's way. It's the least they could do is pay attention and know that we, yeah, need them to go elsewhere. It's nothing, you know, nothing against their gecko ness. We just don't want, you know, gecko bits all over the, uh, the living room. Kind of not a cool way to wake up. And, uh, okay. I'm really enjoying those patterns. Yeah, she doesn't want them there, and she, uh, she is definitely telling them. Um, at the craft shows, well, the one I'm going to in October is called Bygone Days. And that needs to be very handmade and not very modern looking. Um, so, what we're bringing to those is... Um, like Will is doing some of his photography and he has lots of pictures like around the square which is around the 1890-ish time period and so he's gonna have some of those in black and white and some in sepias I don't know if he's gonna have um, color ones or not but he's gonna have them where people can purchase them um, some prints or stuff like that. Um, maybe some cards. I can't remember everything he's going to do with those. And then I'm going to have um, some upcycled stuff. Um, I was specifically asked to bring some of that to the thing. Yeah, I think people will really buy Will's prints. I think those are some... He's got some really cool stuff on the prints. Uh, some stuff he entered into a show. But, uh, yeah. A photography contest through the um, 4-H. So, he's got some really cool stuff. And then... Um, I'll put a ladybug on there. You see her? And, um, then he's got some other stuff, um, well, he's got some other stuff he wants to make for another show that's coming up, but that won't be for another month. And then Bill is doing Survivor Bracelets. That are you familiar with the Survivor Bracelets, Bev? Um, okay. 
this is one and this is made with what they call 550 paracord and it's parachute cord and it's uber strong and um, if you have one that's made with all one color it's one piece of paracord and so if you're in a situation where you need a piece of cord that's really really strong that can save your life um, like a 8 inch bracelet has 8 feet of cord in it so um, that's why they're called survivor bracelets is because you can actually survive out there with them if you had to and um, so that's where um, he's going to sell some of those. He's got quite a few made up. And so he's going to sell some of those. Last year there was a guy out there doing them at the booth. And um, this year there won't be. But And Bill will be at a order of the arrow function for scouting. But I'll have his pieces out there. And so then I will have some up upcycled water bottle bracelets um, and some stuff like that. Uh, probably some coasters made out of plarn. Um, I have some bookmarks that I'll make and take out there. And some little notepads and stuff. Uh, just generic little crafty things. Um, for the one at the next show, it's more Christmassy items. So <sighs> sure I'll have lots and lots of that kind of stuff there. Uh, lots of little easy things. I hope so. I hope they will enjoy what I'm doing. I'm thinking about this space right here. I'm thinking I need more circles. That's what I'm thinking. What do you think? Do you think we need more circles? We want more circles. Didn't really give you an an a chance to answer that, but I'm, I'm thinking circles. I didn't the last one. Um, but I used different pens on it. So I might I might spray it with a clear coat, maybe. an acrylic sealer or something like that. Thank you, Bev. This one is for me. I like this one.
I don't want to put the same centers in that, but I do want to put some centers in that. I think I'll make it look like marbles, maybe. Like that. I like it. I like the way the, how figurative it looks right there. Thank you, Bib. It's hard not to go in and do more on these two, but I, I want them to stay that way. I want to stop that. Um, and leave, although I, may, I know what I want to do. I want to do a A wee dragonfly. Like that. Come on. Focus. There we go. Little dragonfly there. Yeah, I think that's what I want. And uh go around this bottom ledge right here. You weren't here when I was talking about the rough edge there. Um kind of makes it difficult right there to go around because that's the going against the grain right there on that side of the box but um, yeah I like it outlined like that. So I think that's where I'll stop tonight. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a pattern along the edge, I know for sure. And I can't decide down here if I want to make it look like a garden or do something more woven looking to make it look like the bottom of a basket, you know. So I'm gonna I'm miss, I'm gonna dream on that is what I'm gonna do gonna dream on that and decide what I want to do with it but I'm glad you found me tonight Bev it, it was a nice surprise like I said I just kind of decided at the very last minute this evening before I left from work that I wanted to stream and I wanted to do my box so I uh, kind of posted it rather quickly and left for all these meetings I had and then came back and just barely enough time to drink a sip of tea and sit down but I'm glad I did I'm glad you could find me and join me it was nice doing the top of the box so I'm gonna throw up my go away slide and get everything recorded and and uh, saved and and I will catch you tomorrow that is all good with you. So, good night, everyone. I hope you had a great time. And I will most definitely be streaming at the end of the week on the 23rd. I think I'm going to do something kind of mixed media, collage kind of stuff. Uh, might be kind of fun. Get a little inspiration from my pal Molly and uh, some of the other wonderful Ustream girls, Rachel and Carrie and Dee Dee, that I've been watching. And Laurel and so many to to name and 
can't think of everybody, but you know who you are. You know I like stalking you and watching your beautiful art. and So I'm inspired, and I want to share that with some of my friends and hopefully inspire you too. So I will see you on Friday, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. And y'all have a great day. Have a great rest of the week.